Hi, this is Christian Cantrell, and today I want to show you a couple of CSS regions and exclusions demos, but I want to do something a little bit different and show them to you on a mobile device instead of on the desktop. Since the, uh, the web engine team at Adobe makes contributions to WebKit, those contributions find their way into both desktop browsers and mobile browsers. Uh, on the desktop, they typically show up first in Chrome Canary, and on uh, mobile devices, at least on Android devices, we can start seeing them in the Chrome beta. So the first demo I want to show you is a recipe. It's a simple demo, uh, but if you look closely, you'll see that uh, there's something a little bit unique about it. You can see that the text follows the contour of this plate, uh, which is something that we're typically used to just seeing in print in something like a magazine, but using CSS exclusions, uh, it's something we can start doing in browsers as well. I'll switch over to the regions demo here, and here we're using uh, CSS regions to lay content out into both uh, columns and pages. Uh, so you can see I can swipe through the pages here, it's very responsive. If I pick up the device and change it into uh, landscape mode, then uh, everything is laid out again. Uh, so this is a fully responsive design, and you can see that we have you know the proper width and the proper number of columns based on the available screen size. Uh, this works equally well on the desktop, on tablets, and on phones. Uh, so if you want to check these out for yourself, you can just grab the uh, Chrome beta. Um, I'll put the link to the beta in the blog post um, since I don't believe the beta is actually discoverable on the, uh, on the Chrome store. Uh, then you just need to enable the features via Chrome Flags, just like you would on the desktop. So you just go uh, to Chrome Flags in the location bar. Um, it's usually easiest just to choose find in page, uh, search for you know, something like WebKit. You'll want to look for enable experimental WebKit features, tap enable, relaunch the browser, and you're good to go. I'll put the links to the demos in the blog post, and of course, all the source code is available on GitHub. Thanks for watching.